boo welcome back to my channel so i've finally done a little bit of shopping finally done a little bit of shopping <laughs> let's just jump into it because ugh, let's just go let's just do it first up is the pro long wear nourishing waterproof foundation by mac i wear the color nw45 bitch Bitch. It's supposed to last all day long through the storms, through the breakups, through tsunamis, through fires. This stuff is supposed to last and it really does. I love that this foundation keeps me matte but it still gives me kind of a glow to my skin. Um, I use it with another favorite which is the Natural Radiance in Yellow by MAC. I have it in a sample but I'm going to buy the actual size. I've been using this for about a week. A week and a half or so but I was using this at work as well because I work for Mac as a freelancer and I love 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 this primer it still leaves me matte but again it just gives me a natural radiance to my skin and then with this foundation like it's just the perfect combination I don't feel like I'm somebody's like chalkboard face but I'm still not slick like oil as well so this is a perfect combination I love these two together and I also love it without this primer um, I use another favorite with this foundation I've been using another favorite with this foundation which is the magic Lumi like I said in the beginning I have been using kind of just my older makeup just to use it up and I found that I couldn't use this because it would just make my foundation way too oily but when I use this along with the pro long wear nourishing you need to watch who you're talking to when I have this combo on, okay? This is just a really good sturdy foundation. If you're looking for one, this is, to me, the best foundation that we carry in, like, all of MAC. This is my favorite. I have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful liquid lipsticks. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lipsticks. I have on this... Girl! Was anyone going to tell me about this? Ugh, stop! Girl. I thought we were friends. I have this lipstick on right now. This is a matte finish lipstick. I put a gloss over it. That's why it's so out of control and ending up all over my freaking teeth. But it does dry matte and it's very, very comfortable. Don't be like me, okay? Suck your finger once you put the lip gloss on. But other than that, if you just want to wear it by itself, it's absolutely gorgeous. I got the colors... Cinnamon Toast and the one that I'm wearing now with the gloss is called Molten Chocolate Cake. This is more of like a nudie brown. And of course this one is like a poppin' ass red. Love her! Pick her up. She's cute. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Obviously this color is a little bit darker but when it comes to how comfortable it is and longevity, I feel like the Giordano ones are comparable. Bloop. So another thing I've been loving from MAC is their brushes. I've been using the 159 and the 287. They're just two very small, kind of like duo fiber brushes. I like how this one in particular is shaped. It kind of, it's kind of flat. And I like to keep that shape just because I feel like it's really good for patting in my foundation. I don't know, I just, I really like the domed shape of the um, black brushes. And I just like how evenly spaced out the white brush, the white brushes are. Bristles. A bitch can't talk, okay? I just, I don't know. This one's a concealer brush. This one, the 159, is a foundation brush. I just like to use the concealer brush to get like right underneath my brows, you know, spread out the concealer. Honestly, I just got this because it's cute. And it's my MAC. Yeah, this is the MAC Brush Cleanser. I love it because this can be used wet or dry. So I like this because I feel like my brushes, I can use them dry and then go right back into my foundation and start blending it out onto my skin without it leaving like a weird um, greasy residue. So I really, really like this. If you haven't tried it, if you're a professional makeup artist, I would definitely invest in this. Ooh, so these have been my these have been my life. I was using these two mixed together before I bought my um, Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof and I like, oh god. These together, supposed to be together. Like, girl, this is the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. I wear the color 355 and this is the CoverGirl Clean Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation, okay? by themselves 
they're okay. Like this is really good by itself actually, but I like to mix it with this one just because the color of it is a little bit off. It's not, um, I don't want to say the word too neutral, but I feel like I just need a little bit more warmth in it. So I mix it with this and then the matteness of this and the glow of this just kind of gives me this. And I love her. I think I've talked about this before, but obviously I hate this powder. I have nothing for her. She's trash. Get her out of here. Where is she? Whoops. Oh no. I threw it really far. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder. Ugh, it's a mouthful. I've obviously hit pan again, another one, but I feel like this powder is just super soft. Like this is probably one of the best powders that um, L'Oreal has ever come out with. If you could touch this, you would feel how soft this is. Touch it. Try and touch it, for real. I feel like it kind of just blurs all my imperfections and it keeps me matte. I love it. It's in a compact, she's easy, she don't put up a fight. I love her. Another oldie but a goodie that I kind of had to rekindle my love for. Um, this was this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. Okay. Um, before I was kind of turned off by them because I was getting the wrong shade. This is in the shade 30. Okay. The shade that I used to get was 35. If you look at the shades in the store, you'll notice that 35 is lighter than 30. So it just looked ashy and it looked really weird on me. So I was kind of turned off by it like for years. I don't think I've picked this up in like, at least two or three years. I have not been using this concealer. It was trashed me. But 30? Dirty 30? She's it. She's definitely itched. The, the coverage is definitely medium. So it kind of just gives me a little bit more coverage without being too heavy. Um, I just love it. So that's why I bought two of them. Other concealer I have is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This one is cruelty free as they proudly show on their packaging there. This is like a more, I want to say this is pretty, pretty full coverage. It's really, really thick, but I love it. I, I just love a full coverage concealer that doesn't really sink into any fine lines on my face. It still highlights and it's cheap, girl. She is cheap. So Wet n Wild's on the up and up. This concealer is another one that I've been loving is by Maybelline. This is actually a concealer and a foundation. This is the Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in number 13 Chestnut. This is La Bay. I like it just because it is more medium to buildable. So those days that I do feel like um, I want to go a little bit lighter, I do pick this up. I just love the coverage. I love how it feels against my skin. It's for a drugstore foundation. It feels very luxe. Okay. She feels quite luxurious. Um, and she covers very, very well. Look at that. But, um, it gives me a lot of coverage. I can still focus it underneath the eyes if I need to. Cause you know, you guys know that I like to, um, conceal a little bit extra underneath my eyes just because of the darkness. This kind of allows me to get that all done in one swoop without having to do too damn much. But those days where I don't have time, she's being grabbed and she's being used and abused. With love, oldie but a goodie that I've been loving and just rekindling my love for is the Shimmer Strips and Waikiki Peachy Glow Bronze. This one's by Physicians Formula. It makes your skin look wet girl it just makes you look i have it on right now love it for a drugstore glow i've just been grabbing it lately it just makes my skin look really wet and i've been really going for that look lately probably like 11 or 12 dollars from the drugstore physician formula is a little bit more pricey but i mean she keeps me glowy so i'm not too mad at her another palette that i've been loving is by CoverGirl. This is another CoverGirl product. And I tell you, like I've been reaching for this thing every single time that I put my makeup on. Every single time I put eyeshadow on, I use this. This one is in the color Brass and Sass. It just has like a standard highlight, an orangey crease color. This is like a maroonish purpley brown and that's a blue color. When I tell you this is the prettiest highlight for darker skins i'm not even shitting on your brains like i'm so serious look at that it, it just kind of has this light from within 
type of glow to it and I use it everywhere. I have this eyeshadow on my eyes right now, drugstore completely from this palette. I've been reaching for this palette pretty much every single time I put eyeshadow on, girl. She's it. Buy it. It's only $5 and literally you can use it for pretty much anything. You can go from day to night like what? I'm just been making up words today. Welcome to my reality. The Mega Volume by Ardell in 250. I can't even hold on to it. I can't even hold on to the package. You know I'm wearing these right now. <laughs> they give me that like full cat eye effect. You guys know I want to be a freaking saber tooth tiger so bad. Super cute. I got these from Sally's. I want to say these are about six dollars. These get used. She gets put on. No, hey, I'm gonna use them again before I open these up. At least ten more times. Burnt pepper, blush of choice for the last eternity. Perfect black girl blush. If you're looking for a black girl blush, this is it. Just kind of is like a, what is this? Burnt pepper. It's a prep. It's a pepper. It's a pepper. Looks like it. I think I've already talked about this bronzer, but if I ha oops, if I haven't, let me go ahead and touch up on it right now. This um, used to close. It used to, it used to do that. This is by Shea Moisture. I think I got this from Target. No, I had to order this, but you can you, you can pick it up from Target if your Target sells Shea Moisture. It's just their bronzer. I use it as a ooh, as you can see, it's very very dark. I use this um. As a contour because it's a little bit too deep for my skin tone but girl if you need a glow get her get her I don't know what my whole thing about glossy big colorful lips are right now but it's just doing something for me so I'm gonna keep doing it okay and this is what I'm using this is the peekaboo clear joint get her and that's pretty much it no I'm a liar oh it's not it's not it's not it don't don't do that my last thing are my Go Glam Multiple Pack by Salon Perfect. This is in 614. These just give my eyes a, like a, a big kind of like doll effect. These to me are a little bit more wearable every day if that's the type of girl that you are. Um, so if you need something that's gonna give you kind of like a doll princess eye look, these are perfect for it. If you wanna look like somebody sex kitten, somebody sexy saber tooth tiger. I'm just saying. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for me. That's all I've got for you right now. Oh, no, I'm a liar. Oh, God, it just never ends. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Bitch, get in here. So why is my mom the best mom in the world? She got me today. This is why, brand new, today. But it's already my favorite thing, just because she cares that much. She got me, like, this lipstick stand. Isn't that cute? She got one for herself and then she got one for me. But wait, there's more. This little, let me show you the box. Let me not be selfish, let me show you the box. Um, It's just acrylic organizer. This is what it has on it. It's got this white woman on it, looking all happy in these roses. And I love it just because it kind of has this like, it may just look straight up pink to y'all, but like it's like a rose gold-ish pink, you know? She's grown, she's a grown pink. <laughs> I love this thing. You thought I was done. Got me another part. Ooh, almost dropped it. Brand spanking new. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm an actual YouTuber now. So I just need to get like, cause this, this is about the same size as this. I just need about four more of these and then I need a big one and then I'm a YouTuber for real. Now I can be extra like everybody else. Is that it for real now? I'm tired of embarrassing myself. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you should have been subscribed by now. <laughs> you should have subscribed by now. If not, go ahead and subscribe, girl. It's over here. You see that little face? That beautiful face? Go ahead and click it. It's mine. It's going to take you straight to my channel. And you can subscribe there. It's free. Make an account. Do it for me. You care, okay? Please. Then, if you want to, you can go ahead and watch another one of my videos. I do have a lot of videos. I have too much time on my hands, so let's make it worth it. Go ahead and click that video and take a look. Don't forget to give all the videos that you watch a thumbs up for me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!
I'm so annoying. Bye. <laughs>